What is up, YouTubers and lovers of budget cars and bikes? Welcome back to the VWT5 Campervan Conversion Project. Today, a very special day. We are getting so close to actually finishing this project now. We're going to go and get some furniture. I've got to jump in this big old blue bus now, drive all the way to Western Supermare to meet a guy from Gemini Campers called Mark. He is going to basically meet me at Morrison's. I'm going to try to film some of the journey for you and I'll set it up on tripod as and when I get there. And I, if I can, I'll introduce you to Mark if he wants to be on camera and we will time lapse us fitting the furniture into the back of this van that is going to be such a huge move towards finishing this whole project oh, the cats here then so I'll show you what it's like in the back of the van now I'm sure you pretty much know what it's like in the back of this van now if you've been following this series let's get this unlocked so that basically is as she stands right now with the back of the seat covers. I'm really impressed with those seat covers, the way they look like that as well. I'm not sure if I showed you on the video for fit in those. Um, I'm, I'm happy with those. Uh, I don't have a problem with that at all. And as you know, all the carpeting is done. But what we are effectively going to do today, God willing, is get all the furniture that's going to go round in this U shape just over here with a little kitchen pod over there. And it's all going to be bolted in. As I said, what I'll try to do is get you on time lapse show you me and Mark fitting it and then we'll chime back in when it's all done and I'll let you know what I think of it all is it a good idea is it cost effective all that kind of good stuff and the only thing really left to do after that is to get the upholstery done but that is another story for another video anyway let's get in this truck and head off and see our friend Mark from Gemini Campers so we are back guys after our long long trip all the way down to Western Supermare to meet Mark and have this furniture put in. It's a few weeks later I'll admit that. I've been busily getting on with other stuff as you can see we've actually got some electrics in now. I put in a little dimmer switch there for the lights up here which we'll talk about in another video and a little bank of um, kind of USB and cigarette charger kind of things there and run the wires through but as I said we'll talk about that in another video. If you're wondering what that is that is actually cat litter purely and simply to eliminate any moisture that's in the air from the van being outside because I'm not using the van per se at the moment but anyway back to the furniture that is it installed what will effectively happen is if you just bear with me a sec I'll try to do this one-handed you'll flip that over like so and that will then become your bed now my feeling for that is as soon as I put in the cushions which I'll show you in a minute um, we'll talk about that as soon as I put in the cushions to make the bed as you can see you get this kind of foot and a half 18 20 inch section here so whoever's sleeping on this side is going to have to be pretty bloody short or know the person sleeping on this side pretty well I guess in that respect so it's not what you'd call a full size bed in that respect it is what it is because obviously you've got to take into account the kitchen pod unit over there but that's how it folds over and then it comes back again like so and creates the bench seat now you may notice there as well that that side there has to be just ever so slightly higher than that for it to be able to flip over you get these lovely little doors here as well as you can see they will just open up and you can use that for storage now the one thing I don't quite understand is why they didn't think I did mention it to the guys why they didn't think to put a hinge here and a hinge here you could have then basically lifted this entire section up here that would have been great storage for your duvet and your cushions wouldn't it the absolute perfect space for it instead what we've got is a door here a door here and as you can see another door there not sure how I feel about that I think the design would have been a hundred times better just by putting in a hinge here and a hinge here or a piano hinge perhaps all the way along just so you could literally grab it here lift it up put all your stuff in put it back down job is a good one there is another door there as you can see and another door there and another door there that is effectively where you will keep all your stuff for your gas bottle or your water tanks or your leisure battery or all three of course because it's big enough to do that at the moment all I've got is a fuse box in there with the power cable will run all the way in to that and then obviously up to the dimmer switch and the USB bank just over here but that's the furniture in I did actually record me going all the way to Western Supermare I did record them putting it in lost the footage again I've got to get a better phone simple as that because I managed to lose all the footage of that which is a real real shame but that is it that is the the furniture pod as it were the kitchen and benches and bed pod supplied by Gemini Campers huge shout out to them as well they were so kind to come all the way down to Western from Milton Keynes I think it was meet me in the Asda or Morrison's car park I think it was um, on a pretty cold day and put this in for me while we stood there had a real good chat with Mark there lovely guy and this is their what you'd call their budget option which I went for obviously being a budget van a couple of little things little niggles I mean there's a bit of a gap on that side there which I'm not massively happy about and just down there and there's an even bigger one there and then there's a huge gap here 
where there isn't one there. This can all be rectified though because it's held on. If you just see just in there, there's these little kind of plastic clips there that use screws. And all you've got to do is just unscrew it a little bit, move it across by probably half a centimeter and it'll look fine again. It's just me being pedantic, but that's it. It's all in, it's very solid. It's not going to go anywhere. A couple of changes I would make, as I said, is the hinges here, just to lift that up to store your duvet and your pillows and that kind of stuff in it would make things so much simpler i'm hoping they take that on board and give me a commission for the next ones they make because it's such a good idea i jest of course because i don't see the point of having three doors here and then not being able to lift this up that just lends itself to being just as i said a hinge here and a hinge here put your duvet in there done anyway that is it we will put the cushions in now from esther crafts and i will show you exactly how everything looks now it's all finished and done so this is the cushion set basically that comes from Esther Crafts that we had a lovely deal with there, a lovely girl called Esther who I've been in touch with and been basically sending all sorts of different dimensions to her over the last few weeks. I must have been a real pain in the bum for her but she sent these out a couple of little tweaks needed here and there so she sent out another rear section here and really kindly I asked her to just cut off a little section here and a little section here so that would fit as you can see where the van kind of moves around like there and that now fits in absolutely beautifully as you can see see this is the back view obviously of the van and these are the matching cushions over here now this bar you might be wondering what that's all about I decided to put this in a really nice guy from the T5 forum suggested it he had it on his and it's basically to stop when you open the rear doors like so it's to stop the cushions falling out and this was about 20 quid I think off eBay and you literally screw it in here and when you want to take it out as you can see it just literally lifts out the way let's get in to the sliding door of the van and I'll show you it in more detail and here's the inside view basically there's the kitchen pod as we were looking at just now it's a little bit dusty here and there but this is the kind of furniture pod as I would call it a little bit crinkled and wrinkled here and there but that is effectively where you would sit and have your tea look out the back windows do whatever it is you want to do if there was a telly up here of course you could quite easily just sit there and watch tv with the rear doors closed I'll close those in a minute just to give you a contrast on that but that is it that's the furniture pod in by Gemini campers and the upholstery all done now they supply all the cushions, four inches of memory foam, all upholstered to any upholstery design you like. I chose this because it's very neutral, it's striped so it shouldn't look, you know, it shouldn't show up too many marks as it were in the future and um, you know the only thing I would have said is I would have liked to see it a little bit tighter because it does seem to crinkle up a fair bit but as you can see, excuse me as I fall out of the van, it pretty much goes back into shape pretty quickly. As I said, four inch memory foam that will be sent to you covered with these extra kind of scatter cushions here, all for around about 300 quid. Now, I, I don't know if you've looked online how much foam is cut to size for a Volkswagen Transporter T5. It's about 250 quid, believe it or not. So when you consider you can have this cut to the, any shape you want, basically. I chose this, obviously, and I did millions of measurements and got it exactly the way I wanted. I got this, as I said, for about 300 quid, delivered to my door, all carpeted up. All I had to do was literally plonk it in. If you order the foam, yeah, you can get it a tiny bit cheaper, but then you've got to fit all the covers and then you've got to make sure that all the dimensions are the right you know I've done that I did that on the Vauxhall Vivaro camper van conversion I'll stick the link in up here for that and it although it wasn't difficult it wasn't as easy as this was let's put it that way links for Esther Crafts are obviously in the description for this video as it is for Gemini campers who supplied the entire pod here the wooden kind of uh, furniture pod here all the links for that are in the description massive shout out to those guys you know they really really helped me coming on board with this project they gave me a bit of a discount obviously for a little bit of kind of sponsorship but I mean I would have paid for it i would have been happy to pay the full price for this kitchen pod and seating area here that comes in around about 650 quid so when you consider all of this the scatter cushions the foam the upholstery all sewn up and ready for you the kitchen pods the the whole unit down here all the doors the, the hinges the buttons all of this for roughly 950 quid call it 900 quid just for argument's sake so basically you've converted the entire van for living in for 900 quid i don't think you can argue for that that is such a good price in my opinion obviously that's as you walk into the van and uh, I, I think it's come out incredibly well i'd love to see your comments in the comment section below guys see what you think of this but i think that has come out spectacularly let me just close these back doors a sec so we're back here again and as you can see that's effectively what happens at the back there that's with the curtains closed that's the scatter cushions this is going to be such a nice little place to go and sit if i put these lights on a second bear with me there are the oh he falls out the van again you might get a little bit of a um, led flicker there are the lights in the ceiling there on the dimmer switch which is just 
in there, as you can see. And obviously, I may as well show you now while we're in the van, I suppose. We can sit over here, and your TV could be over there. And here we have a little switch. Obviously, this is your USB, and this should be, oh, yeah, your cigarette lighter over there. And you've also got a voltmeter down there. So you can keep an eye on what's going on. There's your dimmer switch for your lights as well. That just goes on and off just like so. All right, so that is it. That is the van pretty much sorted when it comes to the living area, as it were, inside the van. Again, a massive shout out to Esther Crafts and to Gemini Campers Mark down there for uh, meeting me in Western Supermare, getting this all fitted in. To Esther, of course, for sending down all this upholstery and putting up with all my emails and messages and WhatsApp messages <laughs> and getting it done for me. It's just exactly what I wanted, as you can see there, as I said, with the lights on. It's just lovely. Oh, and I fitted these blackout curtains as well, as you can see. There's one each side there. They're kind of cab device wider curtains here. There was a guy who lives locally who was asking me to video putting it up but it is just so so simple John. All you have to do is cut it to length. It comes a little bit too long for my mind but uh, I cut it to length and it's held in by four screws. Two here and two here. That's it. You go straight into your partition wooden roof here and it's done basically. That's it. And um, obviously then you just drill a little hole here just to keep this back out of place. Anyway that's not what this video is about. I just wanted to uh, kind of pop that in there. So basically at night you'd close those curtains. You've got a little curtain set here as well and then you've got the cab divider curtains here. You could put your TV there or your laptop and watch movies through there and just sit back here and rest yourself for the next day's journey ahead I guess in that respect. Put a fire extinguisher in as well and a fire blanket just behind there because I thought hey why not let's just get into that so that's it I hope you enjoyed it guys I hope it's been of some interest to you and some help if you are considering getting a furniture pod or any kind of upholstery done to your current kind of living arrangement as it were in your van and as I said I hope this has helped out links are in the description comments are always welcome I really really hope you can get some comments in there because it's good to see your kind of feedback on that but that is it the furniture's done the van is I would say 95% done anyway we will be back with probably what will be the final review on this van when we take it out for its last drive as it were before I finish the video series and uh, we'll have a little drive along I'll talk to you all about the facts and figures what did the van cost what did the paint cost what did everything cost how much the entire project has cost me and do I think it was worth it do I like what I've done is there things I would change we'll talk about all of that kind of stuff in the last video which should be coming up in the next two to four weeks so if you haven't subscribed then please consider doing that and we'll be back as I said, within the next month or so. And if you subscribe, you'll see the last video on that. Don't forget to check the back catalogue for all the videos leading up to this as well, because they're really, really interesting. It's all in a playlist titled VW T5 Camper Conversion, I imagine. Anyway, that's it. Give the video a thumbs up, a like and a share, all that good stuff, guys. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to see the last video in this series and to see other stuff as well that we've got coming up on the channel. But that is it now for this beautiful T5 Camper Conversion, which we are 95% done on. Hope you enjoyed it. See you in about... Ooh, two to four weeks, I would think. All right, guys. Take care. Thanks for watching.